Hello? Hello. I booked a last minute appointment with Jerica, my PT, my one and only. My hamstring has been bugging me. What better time to treat it than right before my shift at work? Am I right? Anyways, am I running late? I don't even know. 10.55. Okay, I gotta leave at 11.30, which means I have to do my skincare, feed Nori, eat breakfast, then do my makeup, and then get dressed, because my skin cream- my- my skincare needs to absorb. I need to sneeze. Backstory on me and Jerica. We used to train at Taekwondo together. I remember her mainly as a, an instructor, a teacher. Did Archie take my slipper again? Like. Hey Google, what time is it? Hey Google, what time is it? Okay, got the sandwich. I left three minutes late. Hopefully, I'm still on time. I'm sorry, Jerrica. I didn't make it. I'm two minutes late. Hello. It is a camera. We are here at PRT. That's got your face. I just want to see myself. Are you wearing shorts? No, Jerrica, no. <laughs> Just gonna go through the stuff. I can't hear with nothing. Just take a look at your hands. Are you on your belly? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's see first what's going on. The right side, right? Yes. What are these two bruises on the inside of your knees? You kind of hang out like this. Rotate a little bit. So I'll do it. Insertionary here, or here? It was here, I think. Yeah, right underneath. Yeah. Uh, so, like that, probably. Doesn't feel nice. No, it does not. Okay. We'll do that. We'll loosen it up. Um, put some soft tissue first. We'll do some cupping. Okay. We'll do the shock wave, and then Dan can probably do the after part. year just to increase my GPA mm -hmm. um, and then so five years at York and then two years at Western for my master's. Oh okay. Because I don't think we ever taught, at the, we didn't teach at the same time no. but you were still yeah, yeah, yeah. super young when I was, okay, you were still training. How much older are you than me? I'm 30. How old are you? I'm 23 this year. 23. Yeah. Oh the cops. Yeah. I'm just gonna move it a little bit more so you'll get a little more of a pull. Mm -hmm. This is more painful than the shock waves. Is it? Yeah. I feel like it's my like my skin is being pulled. It's separating your skin, the fascia, the muscle, from the bone, and so it's just kind of pulling everything apart. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's like adhesions and stickiness between the skin, fascia, and muscle, mm -hmm. and then that's what causes the tightness. Mm -hmm. so that's why you might feel like a little bit of ripping. Shockwave just feels like a. Like Which a I'm deep surprised vibration. when people are like, Shockwave is so much more painful than. Than this? Yeah. And we had one of your, uh, somebody that saw your video. Oh, no way. Yeah. 
who saw your video. Oh, that's so sick. I know. She was like in the waiting room with me and she was like, are you Sabrina? Like, yeah. She, she was like, I like stumbled across your ACL recovery video and it yeah. inspired me to like have the courage to do the surgery. Aww. And I was like, what the heck? That means so much I to know. Me, right? Yeah. Ooh. It's like so satisfying to take off. It is. Is this still a low level? No, it's like almost the highest. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to put high pain tolerance. Maybe I just most have... people are like silly me by now. Like they're just like I, I'm telling you, people like really? bring towels to like to bite on, and they're like I have to distract them. They can like hold something in their hand. Really? You have a high pain. But also, you do have a lot more muscle, so maybe that's oh. why. You some more meat back there. Maybe, yeah, you got more meat there. Also, all my meat didn't hurt. I know, so maybe it's just cute. Ooh, it comes in. Uh -huh. Never came in. Which then all friends. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I was, it was cool. Hmm. Oh, my God. oh, LA. Oh. You're gonna break me. <laughs> Just a nice little stretch. You feel in the glutes? I do. I do feel like nice. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna look over your right side. Is this? Do you think I have a lot of neural tension? Yeah. So like stretching it too. Like there might be a little bit of neural tension, but then I think. It is like muscular mm -hmm. from the actual like sp uh, strain that you had, mm -hmm. but then the nerve blocks always helps with that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> I think you can do a split, so <laughs> not with this leg right now. <laughs> My right leg splits is so bad now. Look at this. All right, last one. Push. Five, oh my god. Four, three, two, <gasps> one. Are you getting adjusted today? Mm -hmm. Should I go back? Mm -hmm. okay. I feel like I did a whole last workout. <laughs> that was good! <laughs> <laughs> Is there Form a logo? Recovery. All right. Thank you for uh, seeing me. Of course. What happened? So it's more hamstring than back then? More hamstring, a little bit of back. And I found that whenever I raised my right leg, mm -hmm. my left would flare up. Whenever I raised my left, it wouldn't flare up. All right, let's test something. Up. I am good. Yeah. That looks great. Uh, is this what you're talking about? Yeah, like I feel it right there. I'm gonna switch. It, then I feel it in my glute. Okay, let's do this one again. Put your hands on this in front of you. Sure. Let's see. No, no. Oh, like, that. like that. Squeeze. Okay, so I'm gonna try to push you here. Okay. What I want you to do is like brace your core, turn your core on, okay. resist me, right? You feel that core tone on? Mm -hmm. Now lift that leg up in the sky. Does it feel better, worse, same? Oh, there's nothing. Is it better? Yeah. Okay, and then other side. Like, stick with the stick with the right leg. Oh, just right leg. Oh, right really? Leg. Okay. How's that? Oh uh, yeah, same. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Last one. Don't let me move you. That one. Yeah. Okay. Good. All three of them are good. Yes. Yeah. So you're telling me my core is weak? No. Basically, right? Like as soon as as soon as we turn this on, mm -hmm. now you can do it no problem, right? Yeah. So as you're doing it before, you're lifting up. You're not stabilizing at all. Oh, I see. Right. I mean, to, to like sum everything up with what I think is going on in your back mm -hmm. is you're not stabilizing properly when you move. Mm -hmm. And then this guy basically has to take over and try to stabilize. I see. Right? Like that QL is like your your last resort type of thing. So if you're not using all the other muscles, then QL just like mm -hmm. squeezes, tries to protect that area. I tried to take your advice um, with try not to expect the pain. Yes. Um, and like pushing past it, but mm. not like ignoring it and not yeah. taking signs from my body. Yeah, it's just and, like, yeah, like mindfulness kind of thing. Yeah. Because I know like when I am fully warmed up and I'm at the gym, mm -hmm. I'm not paying attention to it. So I want to act you right into that cue okay. on there. So what got you into acupuncture? Like Cairo and all that? Yeah. My so you don't have to do acupuncture with Cairo, right? No. 
everything from like shoulder to, uh, to wrist mm -hmm. didn't work like i couldn't write i couldn't type i couldn't do anything too much throwing also loki like looking back i think it was me being 16 years old going mm -hmm. into the gym just hitting bench just hitting mm -hmm. biceps like just only doing those muscles yeah. i think a lot of that too became like mental too right oh kind yeah like definitely I was, yeah. About. Yeah. I was going to physio and everything like that massage acupuncture everything and the thing that actually worked the best was chiro i'm going to sign check face the camera right into that cubicle. Okay. There's no needles. Okay. I was bringing it right in there and you're gonna actively stretch. So bring the oh, knee up. Okay. And then down and back. We've done this before too, right? Oh yeah, I do remember that. Uh, like, All the way down there. Can I have this like bent? Yeah. Okay. And that right there. Let it like fall off okay. the table, okay? This one sucks. It does. But it's also the best. <laughs> Go down. Do you have needles in there? No. Oh, okay. uh, relax that shoulder back. Should move your shoulder away from me. There you go. Uh, oh my god. Uh, so crispy. We're getting crunchier by the day. For real. Uh, perfect. Oh my god. So drive that knee down into the ground to bring your hips up. This one's just gonna hang out there. Feel that hip turn on too? Yeah. Okay. It's arm uh, right up. And then reach under and then rotate as you reach it. Good, that's crazy. That's really good. Come on back up. This has got to be a prank. Ain't no one Just doing this for real. Just the second prank. <laughs> oh my god, this one's gonna- I know this side's gonna be hard. Oh, this is way harder on this side. Yeah, that's it. This is hard. Come on up. You feel it more in the hip or the back? In my hip. It's so hard to keep it up. Mm -hmm. Definitely more like hinged here too. Oh, god, you know what I mean? Like, can you feel that fold? Yeah. Right in that area? See everything. No. Rotate all the way through. Come back up. So you can see this side. Keep going. This side feels better in general. Yeah. There's just like more length through here mm -hmm. and less of like a fold. Like you're not just like hinging right at that spot. Yeah. It has been around a month since that appointment with Jerica and I'm literally editing the video right now. My back feels great. I've been pretty good with incorporating the rehab exercises that Dan gave me, like that twisting one. And then this other one he gave me before. I don't think I included it in the video, but since then my pain has decreased so much. It's crazy. Who would have thought when you do your physio exercises, you actually heal. Before, I could barely get up out of bed. It hurt so much to bend even just like this. This much hurt. I use those exercises in my warm-up or after I'm done my workout as conditioning. Also, my hamstring has been feeling better. For that, that injury just needs time to heal it. But if you guys want a video on the rehab exercises I've done before to improve my back pain, strengthen my core, help alleviate some pain in your hamstrings or like in your glutes, uh, let me know.